How's it going everyone? My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you a few different ways you can use the Content Aware Move tool in Photoshop. I like to work indestructibly, so I'm just going to create a new layer, make sure that my bottom layer is unlocked, and select my top layer. Now I'll just select my Content Aware Move tool, for me it's just right here. And at the top you want to make sure that Sample All Layers is selected. My mode is move, and I just kept the structure and color at its default setting, which is four and zero. Now I'll just make a selection around these guys, making sure that there's some room around my selection for Photoshop to breathe and better blend the selection. So once it's selected, I'll just click and drag these guys over here and scale them down a little bit. And I can either hit the check mark at the top or hit enter. And just like that, Photoshop does all the work for you. Now I'll just hit Command D to deselect. And now let's say I want to delete these hot air balloons from the sky completely. I'll just make a selection around both hot air balloons. And unfortunately I will need to select the bottom layer. This will be a destructive edit. And I'll just select the rectangular marquee tool. Right click, fill. And where the contents are, you want to make sure that it's content aware. Click OK. And just like that, the hot air balloons are gone. So now I'm going to select the top layer again and make sure that my content aware tool is selected. And under mode, I'll change it to extend. So if I zoom in to this zebra at the end here, I'll just select about half the zebra. and click and drag, literally extending the zebra. That'll be good there. And click enter. So if this isn't blending very well for you, you can try and play around with the structure and color settings. Uh, what structure is, is the amount of detail that Photoshop is keeping around your selection. So if it's at one, um, Photoshop will just keep it very loose and if it's at 7, which is the max, Photoshop will, as you can see, it's slightly changed it to add more detail. Uh, I'll leave it at 4 just because that's default and it looks fine. And color is if maybe these two colors, maybe if your outside color and inside color of the selection, maybe it's lighter inside or darker on the outside. This is a good way to play around with that and try and blend it manually. But again, the default settings for me work fine. So I'll just deselect again and zoom out. Now if I hide the top layer, you can see the original image and the new image minus the hot air balloon. Like I said, that was a destructive edit. So yeah, that is how you use the Content Aware Move tool in Photoshop. I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.